African Center for Business Development, Strategy and Innovation. Um, it's um, a company um, that is limited by guarantee, which was started uh, about four years ago. And um, it was started essentially uh, because of my um, past work in the area of business development and advocacy as past chairman of the Nigerian Economic Summit Group, uh, past president of Nigerian Employers Consultancy Association, and uh, sometime uh, chairman of the, uh, the Manufacturing Association of Nigeria, I realized that the private sector needed a lot of support, uh, a lot of um, motivation, uh, a lot of um, exposure and uh, a great need to um, provide information that would help to stimulate um, the businesses that uh, these different sectors uh, do. I also came to the conclusion um, that there is so much that the private sector can do if they had the appropriate support and I therefore decided that we should create this platform to enable us support enterprise development. As chairman of uh, African Center we have spent a lot of uh, effort in trying to organize the different sectoral groups that we deal with, the different focal groups and the different stakeholder groups. I realized during my years in active uh, uh, work, uh, in management and leadership, that there is so much uh, information gap, uh, which small and private, uh, which small and medium scale, or even talking about micro, small and medium scale uh, enterprises do not have. So we have focused on creating knowledge. I'll give you an example. Today, there are a plethora of funding opportunities in, in the economy. You have the uh, 200 billion MSME fund, you have the uh, 100 billion, you have the 10 billion, you have different uh, funding uh, from different agencies, CBN, the uh, Agric Fund, and so forth and so on. But many of the small companies, many of the micro companies have no idea. In fact, some of them, even when you talk about funding, they've already made up their minds that these fundings are not accessible, that nobody could ever get them. So we've kind of tried to intermediate. Uh, first is to bring the information home uh, through our seminars, through our workshops, through our one-on-one -on -one interaction, uh, through our mentoring programs, for them to understand that these opportunities exist what does it take to assess those opportunities? And sometimes we have led them by hand to walk through the steps to assessing those funding. Uh, but not just in funding, what about in market development, in creating opportunities for their products and services to be well known and also to be uh, positioned in the minds of consumers, even to create awareness. It's exciting, uh, of course, that when you take them from where they are to where you think they ought to do, you see them uh, blossom and uh, you are comfortable. So we've done quite a lot, but there is still a lot more to do. Because in this country today, you have almost half, half a million MSMEs, half a million uh, micro, small and medium enterprises in the country. And it's not easy for one or two or three or five organizations even to touch, uh, to reach all, but we do adopt uh, opportunities to expand uh, visibility of our operations so that many more can assess the information uh, that we produce or that we, that we put out. We do participate in uh, different uh, international uh, fora. Uh, we do attend um, several other programs outside the country. We're able to um, interface, we're able to uh, share uh, knowledge uh, and uh, also understand what has worked 
elsewhere uh, what is working in our country. So what we're doing uh, are three things. First is that we are bringing a lot more people to join us, uh, both in terms of providing resources, uh, uh, human uh, material resources, so as to build our capacities. Number two is that we're expanding our base. Um, for a long time, we, we started working out of Lagos, but we now have operations in Abuja, we have in Port Harcourt. We're trying to also extend to Enugu uh, so that we can have a, a larger reach to the target audience. Um, and then also through our collaborations in African countries, we have um, uh, a kind of outreach in, in Accra, Ghana. We also have a relationship which we have also established in Kenya. So we are trying to expand within Nigeria and also bring in uh, African affiliations because Africa is our space. And when we look at enterprise development, we are focusing on what are those things that can help companies grow. Uh, we were focusing on environmental issues in the area of governmental input and also um, in the area of capacity. Uh, I'm talking about capacity of entrepreneurs to uh, understand the, the rudiments of how to uh, access the enablers that promote business. So we're focusing more on enablers, you know, looking at funding, looking at management, looking at marketing, and looking at business conduct because we believe that many businesses have failed because of these four things, either because of finance, or because of marketing, or because of management expertise, or because of business conduct. And we have found that if we got these four right, the chances are that most businesses will grow. When you see a man setting up a small business, that everybody should go around him and say, what can we do for you? Because this guy that is setting up this small business will end up employing one person. You end up getting people to, to, to put electricity, you start putting, buying electricity, you know, start using services, you employ one or two people. As many more people as will be setting up small, small things, the economy will become big. That is a mentality thing first. And that is why if I saw somebody who is a small, medium scale enterprise, a micro enterprise, setting up business somewhere, I don't go and destroy his shop. If I destroy his shop, I should create an alternative shop for him. Because by destroying his shop without compensation, I'm driving him into an extreme behavior that is resulting into what we see in the dislocation of our social milieu. People getting angry with the society. What we need to do is first of all understand that when an individual wants to do business, we should offer him help and guidance. If we have that mentality, I have spoken that the best thing for a minister of industry is not to sit down in industry in his office or minister of trade. His job is out in the field. He should go from one shop to the other, one business to another, and what he's asking is, hello, Mr. Whoever, let me see how, how your business is going on. You have employed 10 people this year. What can I do for you to make you employ 20 people next year? That's what the minister should be doing. And he should go from one company group, one, one, one sectoral group to another, motivating them and offering them help. The moment we can do that, Nigerians are entrepreneurial by nature. What they need is guidance and support and motivation. That is my area of focus. It's not in telling us money is available which nobody can assess. It's not in telling us that um, things are happening, nobody's seen them. The mere attitudinal change to small businesses, creating of, of, of workstations, uh, enterprise stations, you know, estates, where people can set up their businesses with minimal hassle regarding procurement of land and all the other things that they need. You know, business bureaus where people can just walk in with their idea and a laptop and they can start running business. 
that is what I believe we need to do to unleash the energies that Nigerians have to do business.